Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricut. Today I'm going to uh, copy a recipe from one of my friends who has a YouTube channel. It is Emily the Country Cook. Last night I watched one of her videos and she made country ribs with cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. And I'm going to link to her video uh, down below in the description and in the video too. So y'all go check out her channel and subscribe. She's got some awesome recipes over there. So I'm going to try to copy it. The only thing different will be I have pork chops and not no country ribs. So in my big stock pot I have almost a head of cabbage. I'm going to add one can of chicken broth and I'll also be adding some water. And then I asked my husband to peel some potatoes and he kind of got carried away with them. So we're going to add some potatoes and carrots. And they're chopped thick because the cabbage needs to cook for a bit. And I don't want my potatoes to turn to mush. I'm going to add just that many. I can't really tell you how many's in there. And let me go ahead and start adding some water. Alright, I have it just covered with some water. And now, I'm about to put my pork chops in there. But I'm going to season it with a little kosher salt. Some black pepper. I like lots of pepper. I'm going to put just a little bit of onion salt in there. And if you've watched my videos, you know how I love my parsley. And paprika. I'm going to add about a half teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm also going to put a few dashes, I can't say this good, Worcestershire sauce. And then let me get my hot sauce. This Louisiana hot sauce is my favorite. Put several slugs in there. And now let me get my pork chops. Alright. I've just put a couple of pork chops in mine and I've got it on high to bring it to a bowl and then I will turn the heat down and let it continue to cook till everything gets done. I'm probably going to cover it too. I don't know yet. But I just laid my two pork chops on top. And then I will bring you back. It is 5 o'clock. And I'll let you know how long it took for this to cook. I normally use country style ribs, which are my favorite. And they didn't have the bone in it. So uh, she boiled hers first. So, but I forgot to uh, pre-boil my pork chop. So I just thought I'd throw it in there with it. So I'm going to bring this to a bowl. Turn it down just a little bit so it ain't boiling real hard. And then I'll bring you back as I check on it. Alrighty, mine's been cooking for an hour. Now remember, my potatoes and I were cutting pretty big chunks. I think I added too much water because, you know, I forgot that the cabbage and all gives off a lot of water. So I did have the lid on it. So now I'm going to cook it uncovered, let it finish, and I turn the heat up. So maybe some of this water will evaporate out of it, or juice, or broth, or whatever. And it already smells real good. My husband's done. Checked it for seasoning for me. But yeah, my potatoes. Let's see. And carrots, yeah, they need to cook a little bit longer. So I'll be back. All right, it is now 624. So mine has been cooking for an hour and 24 minutes. And the potatoes feel soft. And let's see. 
The carrots are soft. They're not mushy. They're just soft. And everything looks wonderful. So now I'm going to turn this off and make me a plate. Here is the finished product. Now the uh, meat I'm saving for my husband and my son. I really don't care that much about meat that much. But um, I'm just a vegetable person. But we've done t taking a taste of it while it was cooking and it's real good. And just like Emily, I've added more black pepper to mine and some hot sauce. So now I'm going to try another bite. Mm, this is real good. I really like this. So um, remember to go check out Emily, the country cook. I will be linking her uh, this video and her YouTube channel below the video in the description box and also linking the video of hers in this video. She's got some really great recipes over there. And um, check out her video too. This is what inspired me to make it. The cabbage and everything. This is so good. I really do like it. Thank you, Emily, for sharing your video with us and for inspiring me to make this. I hope you enjoy. And as my husband usually hollers in my video, remember, everybody eats. <laughs> Might as well eat something that you like. <laughs>